Hello and welcome to this week's On the Couch. I'm joined by Mark Wynn Stanley. So, um, a slightly disappointing week, really, wasn't it? Oh, very disappointing. Um, very, very disappointing, unfortunately. Again, four seconds a week before, and it's a case again. Planet of Sound, you know, finished third in the um, racing post chase. Nakarap, you know, again, I'll also give a fair mention to uh, just what Andy capped. Again, uh, Loved it around there. Disappointed with Planet of Sam was beaten coming in the straight, wasn't it? And plugged yeah, on it. just plugged on, really. Really didn't did, I? you know, really did disappoint him. I don't know if the same horse who ran in the end. I don't mean, it was his form. I don't really beat him the winner, to be fair. Tom George is always in great form, aren't they? Yeah, brilliant form. Uh, again, people may have backed it at five to one each way, but I don't know. I backed it with only, so it goes down in the in the jots as a loser. And uh, 33 to one for the national, would you back him? Not with counterfeit, would you? Not no, on that not performance. Really. <laughs> And uh, your second choice was Saddler's Risk and the Juvenile Hurdle at two o'clock. Yeah, I left um, it behind on this. I really had a good, really had a good go on this horse. And Baby Mix just come back to form. It looked terrible mm. last time at Cheltenham. I mean, one of those horses, you say, how did that, you know, could you back that the way it ran last time? But going back to the fact that Tom George's horses are in great form and it looks a different horse, Baby Mix. It looked the horse we first see when it came from France when it beat Hinterland, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, I thought Saddler's Risk was a bit special, I must admit. Um, in I didn't know before the race that the horse was supposed to run at Cheltenham uh, over New Year, and uh, uh, he had a he had a vir had a bad scope. Mm. So maybe Philip Hobbs wasn't you know that hard on it when it ran in the race. And afterwards, he said that didn't he? That yeah. he wasn't hundred percent going into the race. Uh, and he didn't I, really beat much though on his at Campton the well, one the thing before was, that, did the it? The horse who finished fourth, Sonora Sands, who got beat mm. something like forty lengths, that came out and was second. So that actually mm -hmm. did frank the form. Um, and it was just so impressive. And you know, Philip obviously has trained Detroit City to win the race, and he, he was in very bullish terms. And um, I thought we see the Triumph Hurdle winner on uh, on Saturday. And I think it was Grometti. I think he's one of these totally professional horses who jumps well. I had to do it all the hard way the other day. I think it was just I didn't in front. And I think the reason Adam running was he just wanted to give Chuck Thornton a feel of the horse. He hadn't ridden him before, already Chuck for injuries. Yeah. And I think he's going to be very hard to beat in the Triumph Grimetti. I think he's, uh, he's the one they've all got to beat. OK, and then um, finally you had Manella Class in the 410 who pulled up. Apparently it was the ground, Henderson. So. Yes, very much the ground. Uh, I mean, he was I think, fifth, fifth or sixth in the uh, in the novice hurdle at Cheltenham last year, the Neptune. Uh, and I thought he went on good ground. He also got hampered all the way by the, the, the Zaino who fell at the first, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I love it. But um, yeah, Barry Garrett said he just wasn't doing the tap on the ground, so pulled him up. Um, Interesting, he also won the race. Crystal bonus of Paul Nichols is that had only form on heavy ground all the way through his career, and I thought he'd be the one who wouldn't like the ground. Yeah. Uh, what we're losing the rugby to the Welsh in the last minute, teen, and it was an absolute disaster of a weekend for me, to be honest with you. Glad it's over. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll get better this week. Can't get any worse. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>